Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. Um, first things first, I did not think I would be making a video like this again. Um, so, a little over a year ago in June, so like last June, not this past one, but the one before that, I tore my pec, labrum, and rotator cuff. I've been training super smart. I've been trying really hard not to like hurt it more, re-tear it, or anything like that, but then, I did and now I'm back at like not square one because it's not as bad of a tear but I did injure myself again and, like a lot of you guys have been asking like the whole story and like what happened and it's like super simple so like really quickly I'm gonna show you guys this is what it looks like I'm just wearing a sling right now um and then I'm gonna tell you guys how I did it the recovery process and everything like that and like what my plan is while i'm injured because i feel like a lot of people get hurt and then they think they just can't go to the gym and i'm still going to go to the gym and i'm still gonna like take care of myself and i'm gonna do what i can do so with that being said we're gonna get into this video if you guys are new and you guys are interested in like seeing like recovery workouts any type of workout weight loss um college vlogs anything like that those are all on my channel i sometimes do like how to eat to lose weight and stuff like that so so if you guys are new to my channel and you guys clicked on this video just because you happened to see it, hey, my name is Sydney, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm sorry this is how you're meeting me. Anyways, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Snapchat. I still have workouts on my Snap Story. Um, for you guys that are curious, I just am doing everything one-armed. And then um, I'm gonna be focusing more on booty workouts and those will be on my story as well and bands and I'm just not gonna be doing as much like upper body with like both arms obviously so with that being said don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the bell and let's just get into this so first things first i want to talk about the fact that like yes i hurt myself and the way that i hurt myself this time versus last time last time the way that i injured myself was like out of my control because i the weight fell down on me and i was laying on the ground and like i couldn't really get out of it this time though i was just not thinking properly and i it is 100 percent my fault like you know i could have i could have picked smaller weight or warmed up without weight and i didn't and i got hurt so with that being said um i was training at gold's gym during la fit expo like right before it on the friday before la fit and i was with jess but like when I was there, it was like the expo people. So it's not just people that train there normally. It's like all the big bodybuilders. Um, I know all the 5% nutrition guys were there. Um, Drew, hey, if you're watching this, he was there. I met him literally like right before I like hurt myself. <laughs> and all my girl squad was there. Like everyone was there anyway. It was like super packed. It was just really hard. It was intimidating as it was. And like the gym is not a place where I get intimidated, but like obviously I was there and like Gold's Gym is like the mecca of bodybuilding. And like, as you guys know, I want to go into figure. I love bodybuilding. So I was like not thinking properly. And I get over there. There are no like small weights that are together there's like one weight here one weight here one weight here so like they're not set together so it's like really hard to find the like you know anything below 15 is pretty hard to find at gold's gym unless it's a machine and i was using dumbbells and i was gonna hit upper body so i was gonna military press so i grabbed what i could find jess had the 15s but like we didn't want to swap i didn't want to swap off with her because like i feel like i was bothering her so i just grabbed uh two dumbbells that like matched and they happened to be 25s and i was like i can do 25s it's fine yeah i can't do 25s for a warm-up and and not because i can't lift it because i definitely can lift it it's the fact though that like my shoulders as you guys know are a lot weaker than like other people's because i had a prior injury and it specifically is my right side you guys are wondering like through the camera i don't know what side it looks like but when it's on selfie mode it looks like it's my left but it's actually my right so you guys were getting kind of confused when i was like posting selfie mode on my phone and then like posting like this on instagram like actual post because i was taking the photo normal so um yeah it's on my right side but I went to military press up, which is just this way. And as you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'll explain this later, but just, yeah. Anyway, I was military pressing up and I only do 90 degree angles. So like, I don't go lower. Like this is the lowest I will go. I will not go to here. I just stay like usually like right here, press up, come down, press up. So like, I only do that range of motion anyway. 
and I went and pressed up and as I pressed up I heard like the grossest sound ever it was literally like that <laughs> like that's the best way I can explain it and then a pop and Jess was on this side so the side that I hurt Jess was on that side and she's like what was that and I was like I think that was my arm and I just like lost all my strength because I partially tore my rotator cuff my super spinatus and then um i think that's how you say it and then my labrum is fully torn again um and it was fully torn before but like now the cartilage in it because labrum is not a muscle and so people always get confused they think it's a muscle no it's not it's like a joint i think that's the best that's like the best way to explain it it's like you know the socket kind of like joint area and there's cartilage and other things in it with like liquid and i just tore that completely up right now i do not really have any cartilage in there because i like tore it all apart and then for like the labrum i just it's partially torn so it's not fully torn but because i was already hurt i'm just a mess so that's how i did it after that i went to try and do another rep and like i couldn't even like i couldn't even get the weight back up let alone like I couldn't curl I can't do anything right now just because it hurts so badly and I'm gonna like listen to myself so that's how it happened um now on to kind of like the rest of it like what my plan is for recovery what I was told my recovery time is and my thoughts so last time my recovery time to be fully recovered to the point where I could start like lifting kind of not heavy but like start lifting weights and like not use the three pounds or the five pound dumbbells was eight months this time my goal is to be able to start putting like at least 10 pounds on in eight months or six like depending i don't know because i really don't want to rush it but like my big thing though is that i'm hoping my recovery time is going to be like two months because i have two lab classes that like are olympic lifting well, one of them's Olympic lifting. The other one is, like, a flexibility class. So, like, my flexibility right now on this side, like, I don't want to put it, like, in, like, I don't want to strain it. So, for the next two months, which I have, I think I have class until the very end of April. My last class is the 27th. So, I have, like, four months of this. And my goal is to be, like, recovered enough where I can at least, like, lift it fully and use, like, three-pound dumbbells and five-pounds by the end of april maybe like earlier if i really take care of it but um what i'm planning on doing is wearing my sling for the next two months um and just seeing how i feel and like going with like the actual like thinking about is this going to help me in the long run Sydney? like if you you know rush this healing process are you going to get hurt faster in this time are you going to heal properly and i just really want to be smart about it because a lot of people like rush the healing process and then they get hurt again and like because i'm so prone to injury on this shoulder because i've already screwed it up so badly in the past and this is the second time i really don't want to do it again so the big thing is i'm going to be wearing my sling which is such a hassle the only time i don't wear it is in my dorm room for the most part um because like i can take it out of the sling and like yeah it hurts for if it's out of the sling for more than an hour my shoulder starts like hurting burning having like um like a, a painful sensation like knives and everything in my shoulder and stuff so like my big thing is i just really want to take care of it i really don't want to rush the process and i need to listen to my body because at the end of the day you are the only person that can listen to yourself no one else knows how your shoulder feels no one else knows if you hurt your ankle they don't know what it feels like to be walking on all the time so like for me, I want to listen to my body. I'm going to let it heal properly and I'm going to see where I'm at in two months and then reassess the situation and be like, okay, keep wearing the sling for 10 hours a day or what, you know, because for me, like I cannot, I could honestly right now, I could have the sling off, but then it would cause more pain than and like not help me heal because it is a partial tear not a full so like i can kind of and i've been through this before so like i kind of have a higher pain tolerance but like i don't have strength right now so what i'm doing is just like taking the time to let it heal and listening to my body um but that's kind of i don't really know what else to say besides the fact that yes i did get hurt this is the second time that it has happened and it sucks but with that being said, I still am going to be bringing tons of content to you guys. I wanted to focus on me, um, but I'm going to be bringing tons of content to you guys. I'm going to 
try and like not confuse you guys obviously i still have some footage from before and i don't know how long i'll wear the sling at the gym because here's the thing if you wear your sling at the gym all the time it like gets it becomes like annoying so i'm probably gonna switch to like a brace that i wear at the top rather than here but like the whole thing with the sling is like people keep asking me if i tore my bicep or if i hurt my elbow and no i did not it's my shoulder but it holds it up so that my arm's not hanging and like when it's hanging or getting bumped by people that's when it hurts like the most like it's like the most excruciating pain so i just need to wear the sling for a while to like let it heal and let it not have issues so that's kind of the whole situation like i didn't want to make this video too long but i wanted to explain it to you guys and i hope that this helped you guys out um i love you guys so much if anyone else has injuries you know i hope that this video helps you guys big thing though why is it not focused on me okay there <laughs> big thing though focus on your recovery process why is it not focused on me It doesn't like me anyway big thing though my big message that i want to tell you guys is focus on the recovery process listen to your body because at the end of the day this is the only body we have you can literally fuck up your car you can fuck up your bed you can break a box you can do any of those things those things are replaceable but your body is not so at the end of the day i'm so young i'm 18 i don't want to have all these problems for the rest of my life but i most likely will have some of these problems just because of the fact that i'm like always you know gonna be struggling with having a less strong shoulder or whatever and it's gonna be like slightly like weaker but at the end of the day like if you can take care of your body you can take those few months off just do it because at the end of the day like you have the rest of your life to go to the gym and work out and like my big thing is I just want to heal as quick as possible so I can see the results so yeah with that being said that's the end of this video. I love you guys so much. I'm trying to be my best self. And I mean, this is just a little bit of a roadblock, but it's not going to hold me back. So with that being said, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.